Good afternoon. Thank you for being with us. Whether you're watching live or watching this recorded, we appreciate your trust and your confidence in Corsicana ISD. When you logged on to the meeting, you should have been able to select listening to this presentation in either Spanish or English. We would like to thank Diana Rivera from Sam Houston Elementary for the Spanish translation. We would also like to thank Tricia Huddleston, our lead interpreter, who is signing the presentation. The information presented today is based on Corsicana ISD's opening framework. This document can be found online as well as many other resources on the CISD website. The framework is developed in compliance with all federal, state, and local agencies. We call it a framework because it is subject to change as the guidelines change from the CDC, the Texas Department of State Health Services, and the Navarro County Health Department. Tonight, we're addressing our elementary and Collins Intermediate students and families who have selected one of the online options for learning. We have labeled these at-home learning and virtual self-directed learning. Both of these require daily lesson completion and we will have the support of a CISD teacher for both options. We have received questions via email to address during this presentation. If you have any questions about the presentation, feel free to email info at CISD.org at any time. This presentation is being recorded and will be available on our website in English and Spanish. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Frost. My name is Kim Holcomb and I'm the Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction. Tonight, we are gonna to talk about the two learning options that will be virtual learning options for the students in Corsicana ISD. We will be talking about option two, which is our at-home learning model, also referred to as synchronous instruction, as well as the virtual self-paced option, option three, which is often referred to as our asynchronous learning option. Before we talk about the differences of the two learning options, I wanna talk about some things that will be similar with the two virtual learning options. Both of these options will be taught by Corsicana ISD teachers. They will both require daily participation and will be required daily participation in their um, classwork and their assignments. All instruction and assignments will be accessed through our learning management system, which is called Canvas. More information will be coming up um, later in the presentation to, to explain Canvas to you more detailed. The differences between the two learning options, um, we're gonna start with the at-home learning option, which is option two, um, often called our synchronous learning model. This is available for students in third through 12th grade. Students will be assigned to a classroom teacher they will remain at home and engaged in structured learning activities, primarily delivered by their teacher using live online instruction. The live online instruction will be accessed through our learning management system called Canvas. Student participation is required five days a week, Monday through Friday. Students will also follow a schedule during the school day and they will log in at specified times for their lessons. For the asynchronous model, which is our virtual self-paced learning, it is available for our students in pre-K through 12th grade. Students are also assigned to a classroom teacher. They will remain at home and they will complete assignments without direct teacher instruction. However, they will be assigned for support and progress monitoring. There will be pre-recorded instruction that will be available and uploaded in the Canvas learning system that students can access at their own time during the day. Student participation is required five days a week, Monday through Friday, but like mentioned earlier, they can access their instruction at a time that is convenient for them. Students are self-paced and, com and, and complete daily lessons during the time that is appropriate for them within the school day. What do they need to participate? Students will need a computer and a laptop or iPad to participate in both of those learning options. In addition, internet connection will be required. For the synchronous instruction or the at-home model, there will be a student class schedule that they will follow every day at specified times to access their instruction. They will also need access to a clock to know when to log in. With the virtual self-paced option, students will be assigned a teacher and will simply log in at a time that's convenient for them. Here is a sample schedule. This is not an exact schedule of a Corsicana ISD classroom, but it gives you an idea of what instruction might look like during the school day. For the live instruction, which is our at-home learning, 
students will have structured time of when their core content blocks will begin live teaching. There will be a specified time for reading. There will be a specified time for writing, as well as math, science, and social studies, and in addition, their elective courses. There will be frequent breaks throughout the day that will be scheduled at varying times, and they will be able to have some time to rest in between their actual instructional blocks. With these virtual self-paced learning, because the videos are going to be pre-recorded and uploaded in our Canvas learning management system, they will access the exact same core content for writing, reading, math, science, and social studies, and they will have daily check-ins with their classroom teacher. Both of the models will require a minimum amount of instruction that is set forth by TEA. Pre-K through fifth grade are required 180 minutes of minimum daily instruction. Sixth, grade, sixth through 12th grade are required a minimum of 240 minutes. Something to note with both of these models that's very important is that the coursework expectation and grading will be the same in both of these models. The curriculum will also be the same. The pacing of the scope and sequence of the instructional standards will also be the same. Instructional resources will be um, the same through both learning options and all will be designed for the mastery of student learning outcomes based on the standards set forth by the state of Texas in each core content area. So how is attendance taken? Attendance will be taken each day in a couple of different ways. In the at-home learning model, attendance will be taken live in participation with the, with the teacher in their actual instructional sessions, as well as turning in of those assignments. For the virtual self-paced option, attendance will be taken and it will be measured daily through the learning management system by means of them turning assignments in or accessing the instruction that has been provided for them. Good afternoon, I'm Stephanie Howe. I'm the Executive Director of Technology and Innovation. So what resources are available for your students? Each student will be provided a laptop or an iPad during our device distribution days beginning on Monday. Students will also be provided with a hotspot for internet connectivity. What is a hotspot? A hotspot is a device that connects to the internet just like a, a cell phone. The laptop will wirelessly connect to your hotspot which will provide internet access for the students. A hotspot will be, is needed if a family does not have internet access at home. One hotspot will be issued per household. The hotspots will be available in mid-September and we will send those dates out as soon as we receive the hotspots. Our learning management system. Um, as Ms. Holcomb spoke earlier, Canvas is our learning management system or our LMS that Corsicana ISD will primarily use for assignments, lessons, videos, or any other types of resources the teachers will have available for those students. Uh, once you know who your teacher is, it will be activated into Canvas and you'll be able to see their contact information. So this is an example of a course syllabus or what Canvas will look like when the parent or student logs on. So you'll see the teacher's name, a little bit of information, and then her contact information. She will have an email, a phone number, and office hours as well. And if you see on the left-hand side, you'll have um, assignments, a syllabus, uh, modules. That will be where all your students' information is. So then we see Ms. Martinez. She is an elective teacher at the Intermediate Campus. And our elective teachers will also have Canvas pages that the students will uh, log into. Um, and this is Ms. Enzuris. Uh, she is a dual language teacher at the Intermediate Campus. And as you can see, everything's in English and in Spanish, and you have your class schedule, her email, and phone number. So this will be all accessible for parents and students. How will your student log on to Canvas? So Hello ID is our single sign-on. The students will sign on one time to, to get to Canvas. So when you go to CISD.org, our webpage, you will go under the link where it says find it fast and then hello ID. The student will click on hello ID and then enter their information, their username and password. Then, then there will be a, a button for Canvas and that'll take them straight to their Canvas page. In the upper right hand corner of our webpage, you will see where it's campus pages. So if you need to go to a certain campus, you click on schools and then you'll be able to see your staff directories. Technology distribution. Uh, electronic devices will be distributed to at-home and virtual self-paced students first. 
K through 12 will receive laptops and pre-K pre will receive an iPad. We have our distribution dates available. All elementary campuses are on Monday at your campus. So if your, students are, uh, if your student is at Bowie, they would go to Bowie Elementary. Um, it's by last name and there's a certain time. And then at three o'clock you'll have walk-in. So if you happen to miss the time, if you're at work. Collins Intermediate will be Tuesday, September 1st. Um, also by the last names. What additional services are available for your student? Child nutrition, we will have uh, lunches and breakfast available for your online students. We will have more information coming out soon on the dates and how that will work. We also have a technology help desk. If your student gets locked out of their laptop or iPad, we have a help desk number. It's 903-641-2333. And it's gonna be open Monday through Friday. Free Wi-Fi, so at five campuses, four campuses, I'm sorry, in our district, we have drive up Wi-Fi. So you can go to Navarro Elementary, sit in your car, download your assignments and upload your assignments as well. And the password is all going to be CISD Tigers. We also have counseling services. We have counselors on each campus and they will be available for your students. And we have an email, counselor support at CISD.org. And we also have a hotline if a student needs their counselor, 903-641. 2334. Hello, <clears throat> I'm Susan Johnson, Executive Director of Communications for Corsican ISD. And um, I am going to be going over just a few more slides. Um, what will CISD provide? So, um, Corsicana ISD will provide an electronic device for your student. We're actually providing electronic devices for all student use. Um, there will be hotspot access, which will provide internet services to you if you need one. And then uh, breakfast and lunch will be provided for all of our students as well. We are really excited about this initiative that was um, just announced. So all of our students have access to free breakfast and lunch. Um, so right now, you probably have uh, completed the commitment form, which was available online. Um, so that is the first step to getting things ready for the school year. Uh, secondly, the new student, new student enrollment packet only for our brand new students to the district. If you have never been in Corsicana ISD before, that is the packet that you will need to complete. And then all students have access to the first day packet and that is also open now through the parent portal. So parents will need to sign in through the parent portal to get access to all of their student forms. There will be uh, paper forms that will be available on the campuses next week. Again, all of these can be done online. You don't have to have them in paper. So each campus is going to have um, a meeting, a scheduled pickup, um, some of these are virtual. Um, all of this will be able to provide you information on how to access your students, teachers, and or schedule. Um, and the next times and dates are um, Collins Intermediate School. Uh, Collins Intermediate School will have a schedule pickup and drive through. That is on Monday, August 31st. Fifth grade is from eight to noon. And sixth grade is from noon until four. Also later in the evening, Collins will offer a virtual meeting for all parents. Um, other important dates include Bowie Elementary will have a drive-through parent packet pickup September 1st from 4 to 5.30. Carroll Elementary will have a virtual meeting on September 1st. Fannin will have a virtual meeting on September 1st at five o'clock. Navarro Elementary, um, they are scheduling to have their students and parents for appointments on September 1st and 2nd. And then Sam Houston, our dual language campus, is also going to have a drive-through parent packet pickup on September 1st from 4 to 5.30. All of this information is available on our website and we will be sending this information via email as well. So be on the lookout for additional things coming to your inbox. Um, we do want to thank you for keeping our schools safe. 
Uh, we know that making this decision is not an easy one, and we want to do everything we can to support you in your role as your students are at home. Um, I'm, I have a few questions that were emailed in that I would like to go over at this time. And I'm sure y'all will let me know if there's any other questions that come in. Okay, okay so the first question is, uh, what are the hours for the virtual teachers? So as uh, Ms. Howell pointed out, all of the teachers have a Canvas page and their Canvas page has their contact information as well as their office hours and their class schedule. So if you need help in getting to that point, um, all the information will be there so that you can reach out to the teacher or your student may reach out to the teacher as well. The next question is uh, lunch program hours for students who are not on campus. As Ms. Howell said as well, we are scheduling food distribution times and campuses uh, for students to be able to pick up breakfast and lunch that is free of charge. And again, that is new to the district this year. We will be in the next few days be announcing uh, what this distribution schedule looks like and how to access food. Can I change my learning method? This is a, a good question and a question that we've had often. So right now, I think that we are about 52% um, all in person or, or at on campus learners. And the other 48% are the at home or virtual learners. So we roughly have 50% that are, that are at home right now. Um, so every nine weeks, parents will have the opportunity to change their learning method for their student if they so choose. We are really asking for parents to stick with their original option so that we can get school started and be successful without a lot of switching. So if you do think that you would be more comfortable in a different learning method, there is a change form online that can be completed. Um, and the last question I have is, do I need to purchase supplies? And the answer to that is um, supplies such as your papers, pens, construction paper, glue sticks, um, all of those things will not be provided by the district. The district, however, will provide the electronic device and the internet connection. So the teachers will let you know if there's any additional supplies that are needed and if there are, that would be up to the family to, um, to determine if they want to make those purchases. Anything else? Okay, well, um, again, thank you so much for joining us today. We will put this information online at www.cisd.org. And um, we'll have all of this information, a recording of tonight's presentation in addition to a Spanish translation. Um, if there are any questions at all, please feel free to email info at CISD.org um, or you're welcome to call our main number here at 903-874-7441. And thank you again.